This video will show how Gore performs one of the quality assurance tests on our adhesive vent products. This test is called burst testing. A vent is adhered to the top of a substrate and water pressure is applied to the vent through a hole at the bottom of the plate. Applying pressure from the bottom applies stress to all the layers of the adhesive vent including the expanded PTFE membrane. We can test eight vents at a time in this burst test machine. The top display shows the water pressure being applied in PSI and there's a timer for recording when the failure occurs. Polycarbonate plates can be used for testing vent adhesion to high surface energy materials. For plastics that are difficult to stick to because of their low surface energies, polypropylene plates can be used to test adhesion. Since the vents use a pressure sensitive adhesive, force must be applied to the vent perimeter for adequate bonding. The vent bond strength to the plate increases with time, so Gore recommends that the vent not be tested for one to two days after installation. The plates are loaded into the machine and are sealed against an O-ring around the hole supplying the water pressure. This chart shows a typical water pressure ramp cycle. The acceptance specifications for most vents are that the vent must meet a 5 psi water pressure for at least one minute without leaking. After passing this test, the pressure is increased to failure and a failure mode is noted. Here we are ramping pressure up to 5 psi and holding for one minute. The speed of the video here was increased by 10 times. Since there is no leakage noted, the vent has passed the test. Now we'll increase the pressure in steps to failure. Here at the higher pressures, but before bursting, we are starting to see the membrane WEP, or water entry pressure failure. WEP can be seen in this close-up picture as the very slight weeping of the water drops through the membrane. Somewhat past this pressure, we get a burst failure in the sandwich layers of the vent, or between the vent and the plate. Next, we will test a vent adhered to a polypropylene plate. As I mentioned earlier, many adhesives have a difficult time bonding to low surface energy plastics, such as polypropylene. Some of Gore's automotive vents are specifically designed to adhere very well to polypropylene. The vent shown here has a pressure sensitive adhesive that has excellent bond strength to automotive headlamps, most of which are made from polypropylene. Mounted to a polypropylene plate, this vent passes the 5 psi test for one minute, so we'll now ramp the pressure to failure. And here we see some water droplets due to the membrane WEP and as we continue ramping the pressure up, the vent bursts. Previously, I mentioned that the burst testing should not be done for a day or two after the vent is installed on the plate. Here we show the effect of a weak bond if there's not enough time provided after the installation or if not enough application pressure is applied to the vent. At a much reduced pressure, you can see the vent starts to leak a little on the top edge. And also at a much reduced pressure, the vent finally bursts. In this case, the failure mode is the vent comes off the plate. 